Next on to target 8.4. Improve progressively through 2030 global resource efficiency in consumption and production and endeavour to decouple economic growth from environmental degradation in accordance with the 10-year uh, with the 10-year framework of Programme on Sustainable Consumption and Production with developed countries taking the lead. Indicator 8.4.1, which is also identical to Indicator 12.2.1, Material Footprint, Material Footprint per Capita and Material Footprint per GDP. Indicator 8.4.2, which is also identical to Indicator 12.2.2, Domestic Material Consumption, Domestic Material Consumption per Capita and Domestic Material Consumption per GDP. Interestingly, just if you are ever looking at the number of um, indicators in the G in the SDGs, you will find that uh, the figure varies from 240, 242, 238. There's different numbers recorded, but that's because in some cases there are indicators that are actually common to a number of the SDGs. So I think the actual overall figure is 238, but it, it, it bounces around the 240 mark. So domestic material consumption assists to analyse the economic pressure on the environment, but when the economy is oriented towards traded goods, the material footprint is, much, is a much better indicator. Domestic material consumption, or DMC, is one of the well-known indicators that assists to analyse the economic pressure on the environment by measuring the total amount of material directly used in an economy excluding indirect flows. In 2019, the total DMC at the global level was 95.1 billion tonnes, 66% higher than in 2000 and more than three times higher than in 1970, indicating a trend towards increased use of materials worldwide. DMC is defined as the amount of raw materials extracted from the domestic territory, considering all physical imports and subtracting all physical exports, at the same time when an economy is not oriented towards the domestic extraction of natural resources but mainly imports good, the DMC is artificially low as it does not take into account the raw materials originally needed to produce these imported goods. To get a more complete picture of the actual material consumption, it is recommended to use a material footprint indicator that covers traded goods in their raw material equivalents, i.e. the amount of raw materials required to produce the respective traded goods. In 2019, the global material footprint was 95.9 billion tonnes, close to the global DMC for the same year. Although the volumes of both indicators are quite close at the global level, the situation is rather different from region to region, and this is indicated in chart 1 there. In Northern America and Europe, the material footprint in 2019 was about 14% higher than the DMC, which indicates that the actual level of material consumption in this region was higher than it seems at first glance. Looking at these two indicators from 2000 to 2019, the difference between them never f f fell below 11%, and between 2005 and 2008, it was more than 17%.